Dark of All Trades presents Professor Dark Explains Logical Fallacies False Equivalence False equivalence is incorrectly asserting that two or more things are equivalent simply because they share some characteristics despite the fact that there are notable differences in their characteristics as well. This is colloquially stated as comparing apples and oranges. In its logical form, it looks like this. A and B share characteristics 1, 2, and 3. Therefore, A and B are equal or share other properties. Some examples. 1. You stole a pack of gum, which is a crime, so you are no better than any other criminal. 2. A teacher doesn't punish a whole class when one student cheats on a test, so why should this testing company punish every kid in America? 3. Apples and oranges are both fruit and are both round. Therefore, they taste the same. An example in apologetics. Teach the controversy is a concept that has been around for a couple of decades, proposing intelligent design should be taught in the science classroom of the American school system. Put very simply, their message asserts that, while evolution may explain how humans came to be as we are today, intelligent design explains it as well, so both should be taught in schools. While it is true that both offer explanations for the current state of humanity, of the two, only evolution is rooted in science, while the other is based on dogma. Scientists have decades of study and overwhelming evidence supporting the theory of evolution by means of natural selection. Conversely, intelligent design, another term for creationism, does not have sufficient evidence to support its assertions and only persists due to religion and people's willingness to believe unfounded claims based on faith. There are other topics where false equivalence tends to be prevalent in their discussion, and some of these can get quite controversial. These include, but are not limited to, veganism and vegetarianism, gun control, racism, politics, climate change, and other scientific topics. Dealing with a false equivalence. If you suspect someone is committing the false equivalence fallacy, the main way of addressing it is to point out the issues with the comparisons being made between the items. This can be done a number of ways. One, point out the differences between the two items being compared and why those differences are relevant or more significant than the similarities. Two, point out that the comparisons are being over-exaggerated, over-emphasized, or oversimplified. Three, provide a counterexample using the demonstrated similarities in a way that shows how those comparisons can be used to contradict the point being made. Four, Ask the person to justify their assertion that the comparisons are relevant. Note: People use comparisons often in conversations and arguments. We use what we know to help us understand new concepts. The human brain has a tendency to simplify complicated or complex issues and topics. This could lead to an oversimplification and therefore fallacious thinking. Remember that equivalence is subjective and can be argued. Any questions? <laughs>